Hoosiers find themselves down by five early here in the first half at Carver Hawkeye Arena. The Hawkeyes going for 18 in a row. That 17 game streak to start the season is the most wins ever by an Iowa team. It ties the all time record originally set back in the 55 56 season. You have to go back to the fabulous five. Well, for this, this squad obviously has a chance to break that record and extend it, but they have to take care of the number three Hoosiers here. Indiana trying to break that press with all members across that free throw line in a four-man break. And they do it in a, a fashion that's opposite of Purdue. Purdue put the guards on the interior positions, the big man on the wings. Indiana put the guards on the wings. Alford with the basketball back out on top to Todd Meyer. Back to Alford. He'll work a pick better than anybody in the country. Bobby Knight says, for a kid who can't jump, isn't quick, he scores more points than anybody I've ever seen. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Callaway now. That may be a little bit of a mismatch. Callaway, a little more size than Marvel, but Rick Callaway comes up short. <laughs> Jeff Moe with the little jump pass inside the low house. Well, can see, well can see play, and I'm sure Bobble was done during that last time out. He said, next time down court, we're going to run this play to Low House. Foul against B.J. Armstrong. That's his first personal foul. Five team fouls now against the Hawkeyes. 19-12 our score. We've still got 11 minutes of basketball left here in Iowa City. Keith Smart will come into the ball game. Ricky Callaway goes out. And this will be a three-guard offense. Hillman, Smart, and Alfred. They'll run probably Alfred off more and more picks. Smart at the free throw line with Lohaus in his face, buries it. Five-point lead. Jeff Bowe looks inside. Horton has it stripped away by Joe Hillman. Smart on the break, loses the basketball. Roy Marble is open down court. And again, that conversion, IU players do not get back. Iowa, an easy opportunity off the break. And it's the Temple man running the team, B.J. Armstrong, getting it done. The baby-faced assassin, B.J. Armstrong. 21-14 Iowa. Jeff Moe at the point on that press. Zone pressure that time. Jeff Moe has the assignment of checking Alford right now. And Iowa had a... A match there that did not go to their advantage. They failed to get back and find their men on their man-to-man -man quarter court. Daryl Thomas scores, and the lead is back to five. 21-16 with 9.50 to play. Armstrong. Marble with the follow, though. Six points now for Roy Marble. And again, the Iowa strength on the boards pays off. Got to get back on defense, though. Back the other way once again. Two in a row for Daryl Thomas. That time you talk conversion, the Hawkeyes failed to convert to get their men back on defense. Skip pass to Armstrong. Pulls the trigger. Won't go. Back to Jeff Moe. He may be leading this team in rebounding right now. He has four offensive rebounds already this evening. The foul is on Joel Hillman. Indiana is so ball conscious. Wherever that ball is, they really go towards that side, leaving the weak side open. Armstrong's been open twice. Mo gets that offensive rebound. Goes up, Horton straight up. Put it down on the floor once, and he's got to be able to grab it and power his way back up, bring it down to the floor, lets the defense react to it, and they can strip it. This time they fouled him. As you can see by that stat, Ed Horton has had his problems at the free throw line this year. Hits the first, and it's 24-18. Seven points now for the hammer, Eddie Horton. And he's got five rebounds, two of those 
Big O rebounds, offensive. Back to that pressure once again. Iowa swarming in the press. Alford's in trouble in the trap. Good job of passing the ball, getting out of that trap to Hillman. Seven point lead for the Hawkeyes. They look down low. Dean Garrett. Nice post up move again. That's three of them for Garrett on that same block area. Six points in the game for Garrett. Junior from San Clemente, California. Bill Jones had an opening, didn't take it. Jeff Mo will three pointer, count it. Once again, Jeff Mo has come off the bench with seven quick points. Alford on the run, tough shot. The ball is battered around, and Lorenzen comes down with it. Now Iowa will push it back up. Smart tries to draw the charge. Ed Horton way out high to save that one. Pretty physical move between Horton and Daryl Thomas. High post to Eddie Horton, and he is fouled. It'll be against Keith Smart. Horton came to the high post. Slow reaction by the Hawkeyes to spread it. Moe is looking for something to happen. Horton comes up, looks low. Lorenzen's trying to get offensive rebounding position. And as Horton turns to find someone else to pass to, he gets hammered there by Smart. The Hawkeyes trying to extend their lead to 10 points. They lead by eight with 7.58 left to play.